we're sitting here with uh, Nils Christian Larsen. Hello to you. Hi. Um, we're here in Holland. Um, a, a Norwegian guy, an Icelandic horse, bred in Denmark. Can you tell us a little about your ride today in T1? How did it go? Uh, it went uh, almost like expected today. I was uh, because I had a good feeling from the training yesterday, and uh, and he is really on top. Yeah, or maybe not on his best, but I feel that the curve is on the right way in these days. Uh, he was a little bit stiff uh, from the from the trip the first days, and it. I was a little bit surprised because it, this is a, a, a old stallion. He's 13 years old, but uh, and he's used to travel all over the world normally. But the last two years, I haven't traveled that much with him because he has been covering mares and so on. So I was uh, I was quite uh, surprised the first days because he was so stiff, and I think that was from from the journey. Even if it was only 10 hours to drive, and it was a, a relaxed drive. I think that was that was uh, that was a little bit difficult the first days. So now he is on the right way, and uh, I felt like my ride today was quite good. Uh, he was totally together with me all the time, and it was a blast when all of the audience was clapping so much, and they were so happy, and it was a good song by Elvis, and the horse was working, so it was. Uh, a cool ride today. Yeah, um, and the horse, of course, is Victor from Deezer. Um And I noticed that you had this big smile on your face <laughs> when you entered the track today. And that's really nice to see for the audience as well. Yeah. Um, but what do you feel when you ride and enter this track, and you've got the audience, like you said, they were all with you today? Yeah. How does it feel? It's amazing. Everyone should try it <laughs> because it's really it it is really amazing, and that's why also when you come, you know, when you come into the track and you can just see you know the arena in front of you and everyone is screaming your name and and this horse is also so popular at in so many countries. So I mean, I mean the Norwegian people, are Danish, German, yeah, all yeah. Of them. and you say that everyone should try it. And well, it's not for everyone. <laughs> but how do you actually get there? What, what, how do you set up your goals and then actually reach the goals? Good question. I think uh, it's all about. For me, it's you know the daily work has to be uh, fun. That's the main part. It has to be fun, and every day has to be a pleasure with the horses that you are riding. And I am also quite lucky because I have really good people around me that also gives me these super good horses, like the family Langard uh, on Sundahold that also yeah, gives me this horse and I also have uh, other, uh, other people that also gives me exactly the horses that I really enjoy to train every day and I think that is uh, for me a good thing, but yeah, I think that's the main part to have fun and also you have to be quite critical because even if I was really happy for today it was not good enough uh, so even if you reach some of your goals you still have to be critical and to improve yeah, instead, of new goals. instead of new goals because I mean 10 is the limit or the sky is the limit and yeah. now I reached 8 today so I have still a lot to work on <laughs> yeah. but you also need a good horse yeah of course can you tell us a little bit about Victor? You told me uh, just before we started the interview that it's almost like the earth is shaking when you enter the ground. How does he react? He's got lots of energy, you can tell. Mm -hmm. But how is he? But you know, when the energy is like good, or when the atmosphere is good like it was today, then it's then it's all all fun. But I mean, this is also the difficult or the difficult part by being on such a big tournament is is uh, that would be good for uh, maybe all of the audience to to feel also a little bit what's what's behind the scene because you have to be on top at you know 1245 mm. not 1247 or 1250 it's like 
you know, exactly this time, then you are into the track. So, so much things can happen on the warm-up area if you get a little bit stressed or if you are too late or too early or you, know, you need to know when you should push the right buttons to be able to enter the track in the perfect energy. Mm. So then if you're a little bit stressed or are lying then after the horse, I mean, then, then you're too late. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, all of these small things that everyone takes for granted is, is the preparation for the perfect performance. Mm. And that is a challenge for everyone. Because like when you ride at home or you train at home, you maybe, you choose this horse when when you are in this mood and you choose the other horse when you're in another mood or if you are uh, hungry or not then you can eat or relax or but here is like you go one week for as I do now then I have one horse and I need to be on top on the exact time every day and that is a challenge to be mentally ready like 12.45 or 12.30 or whatever mm. to build yourself up to, to this point of time. Mm. As I said just before, you're a Norwegian guy, but you're actually living in Denmark. And I read that you've been looking for the perfect farm for quite a, a while. And you found it mm -hmm. in Herning, mm -hmm. close to Herning, uh, in Jutland, in Denmark. Why or what is it that makes that farm the right, the right the farm, farm the, the best farm for you? Mm, I think that was just meant to be. In a way, because the owner, she, she started to call me actually half a year almost before I bought it mm -hmm. and told me I had to come and see it. I had heard of the farm before, but I, I hadn't been there. But, uh, and she started to call me and I was like, nah, hiding in, that's not the place for me. It's too far away and I'm not sure if it's going to be Denmark. And, but she was like, yeah, you have to come and see it. And then it went on during all summer. I was traveling all around and looking for other farms. And then I was in Herning at the at the Danish Championship and then she called me because she could see it on Facebook that I was in Herning. So then she said, now you have to come and visit me and take a coffee. And then I was like, yeah, yeah. And then as I drove into the farm, I was like, this is the farm. So then I was sure. So then it uh, went just a few days and I had bought it. So this was just meant to be and yet the location is super good for me because it's easy to go to Germany or to the continent or wherever I want to go. It's, I use much less time traveling and that's important for me and my horses because I was using so much longer time on each competition I wanted to go to because of the ferry to Norway and the custom and you know and so on. And my clients uh, from the continent, I thought it also was a little bit too far away to send the horses because they want to be included. So when I was all the way up north in Norway, it was a little bit yeah, more difficult with everything with the flights. Or, yeah. Yeah. And what's the future like on I the farm? What are you going to offer? What can we get from you? <laughs> like everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have... I have um, my yeah, vision for the farm is just giving clinics, having horses in training for competition or breeding, or just a center or a farm you want to come to if you want to enjoy the horses. Mm. And I also, I also invite a lot of other instructors to come to help me or my students or to fill up with other uh, um, knowledge that I don't have. So. Mm. It's an open-minded uh, place, in a way. Yeah. A nice place to be. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I think we want to thank you, Ms. Hudson. Wish you best of luck, both in the B-Finals in Bourgade and the A-Finals in T1. Thank you. I will do my best. Yeah, and we will keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Good. Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.